When I found out I have breast cancer, we were very lost and very、uh, devastated and overwhelmed by all the information that we needed to digest. In 1999, April 1999,、uh, self-examination found a small pea size, actually like a green bean size lump on my left breast. So right away, I went to see doctor. The world just turned upside down. <laughs> I think the first thing I, I feel is I'm going to die because、uh, I was ignorant about breast cancer.、Uh, my my knowledge with cancer, any type of cancer, is mainly through TV and. Movies where the character will die at the end of the film, tragedy. And my kids are four and seven at that time. So immediately I thought, okay, I will not see them growing up. I'm going to die. And if I live, I probably will end it up like most character. I imagine will be weak, curled up in the corner, waiting to die. So I won't be able to fulfill my duty as a mother. I won't be able to be a good wife. And I just will never fulfill whatever dream I had because at that time I pretty much put everything off just for the family. So a lot of fear, a lot of regret. There are so many regret things I wanted to do. My dream never fulfilled. So at that point, I kind of thought, well, if there's something I want to do, I should do it. So I started to take up art, art lessons, watercolor lessons, and. Eventually, move on to oil because I always love oil. I love the color, the texture,、uh, and also、uh, it sort of changed things because a lot of time I take everything for granted. Until cancer, I just realized it's very tiring and frustrating trying to fix things around you. If I can just fix myself, my attitude toward life, you know, just sort of adjust, adjust my attitude and my outlook around, and everything will be okay because nothing is going to be perfect as long as you do your very best. When I found out they have a dragon boat team, I say sign me up because this is too cool. And another thing that for cancer, not only I fulfill my dream, want to be a painter, which I I became one, and also something that never crossed my mind. I at age 43, I can be a dragon boater, so I, I joined the dragon boat team right away, and I was really glad because it was a bunch of nice ladies, very inspiring. Yeah. Wendy Tai, a very healthy, active, 43-year-old woman,、uh, mother of two, and also a breast cancer survivor.